welcome to another vlog. Oh, I'm still in New York. Um, this is my last day though. Tonight I leave at 8 p.m. I still have a full day in New York, but I'm just gonna be like around the city because I can't really go back to my room because I have to check out at 12. It's currently 10. I woke up this morning to upload a video. It hasn't gone live yet, but it is going live later today. And I made a thumbnail and all that stuff. Got some coffee already. <laughs> Hello, Stir Stir. He has been such a good dog. Like, I am bringing him every time I travel now because, like, he is such a good doggy. Such a good doggy. Oh, I love my little baby. Oh, I just made him an Instagram page yesterday. So, if you want to follow him, go follow him. I would really appreciate it. Mmm, yummy. Hey. Now I have to clean this room and I don't want to. This is dead. I'm cleaning my room, but, like, not at 2 a.m. It's at 10 a.m. and I have to check out because y'all can't really see, but. It's a mess everywhere. <sighs> I'm reading my YouTube comments right now. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe because I read my comments from like my subscribers. So if you subscribe from this video and comment that down below, I actually will read your comment. Like if you look at the comments, they're probably all red. Anyways, that's what I'm gonna do for the next like 10 minutes. This is the mess, that's the mess, and that's the mess. We have 20 minutes because what time is it now? Yep, 12 o'clock, let's do it, cheers. I've seen this all over TikTok. I bought it the other day or yesterday. Jisoo honey infused hair oil. I've seen so many girls use this and I'm like, I want my hair to look pretty. So it looks like this really cute packaging. We're gonna try it. Definitely not sponsored. Cute little dropper. It smells good, it's kind of thick. Oh, my hair definitely feels good. Oh my God. God, do y'all see that? Do you guys see that shine? Wait, maybe this is really good. I like don't really take care of my hair. I probably should. I mean, actually I do. I use like Olaplex and stuff. But I don't be putting like hair oils or like heat protectant, which I probably should. The hair is looking nice and healthy. Do y'all see that? Let me show you the other products I use. Also to shave your cooch, I found a new oil. So usually I use like conditioner or something, but I saw on TikTok this like dermatologist or whatever recommend this oil. And I was like, yeah, shaving with oil, that could be good. It's the Moringa oil. I got this off of Amazon. I'll link below. But I shaved my cooch and like my whole body the other day and use that oil and zero zero ingrown hairs and zero itching so this really works and then also i just bought the olaplex shampoo and conditioner the other day i usually use redken but i wanted travel size products so i got this and obviously it works it's olaplex but yeah this is what i use i'll link these below too but there's just some new products that i've been liking lately do you guys like when i recommend products like do you guys give because if you guys don't, I'll stop. But if you guys care, I'll continue, you know? Hi, okay, I just want to come in here and say that I'm giving away free makeup every single day on my Instagram story for the whole month of September because I had so much that I thought I might as well give back to you guys. And it's like high-end makeup, like good stuff. And I'll just be posting whatever I'm giving away every single day on my Instagram story. I literally have Ziploc bags full of makeup to ship out to you guys every day. So all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel that you're watching right now and then follow my Instagram at myfamily. The way I'll be picking the giveaway winners, I'm going to be going through my Instagram story repost. So all you have to do is repost my recent Instagram picture on your story and obviously make sure you like the picture and comment be active you know what I mean I'm just gonna be randomly picking I'm doing that every single day so yeah go follow my Instagram and subscribe to the YouTube channel and um, go check out what I'm giving away today on my Instagram story it's definitely past 12 I'm almost ready to check out so look at this this is a water bowl but it's like Van Gogh I got it at the Van Gogh like art exhibit and it's like a foldable collapsible dog bowl and I've been using this all the time look guys I'm buying things and like actually finding a use for them instead of just like buying things and have them collect up and not use them I reorganized my entire life back at home by the way if you didn't know so like those vlogs coming all right i just cleaned up this is the result and we got all my bags but i think I, I cleaned up pretty well i mean i am late but looking good looking good guys you gotta make sure to clean up and not leave your hotel room a mess you gotta respect the workers come on now anyways all the trash is in those bags i mean well this hotel room it was fun this hotel room was amazing like one of the best hotel rooms i've like ever stayed in like period the one in bali was crazy but like for new york this is fat you gotta have a last couple sips. <sighs> this doggy carrier is goaded. You can like put it on the back like this and also carry it as a backpack. I'm 
back in Ravens because I want a bag. I like was been looking at it, but then I like haven't actually bought it. But like I've been kind of into like cool bags lately. So then I really want one of these because I just think that they're cool. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like I want something cool and I like these. And like I don't really have colored bags and they have it in red and blue. So I'm gonna look at them. I'm just starting a bag collection out here. Okay, I'm gonna get this one. No, yeah. Bruh, he's sh and I don't have a fing bag, so I'm using this huge ass tote. Anyways, just went shopping at Rick O. Oh my god, Sterling. I just went shopping at Rick Owens and Mason Mar Margiela. Margiela. I need to figure out. Oh. Not my tooth literally almost popping off. Pop off, sis. But now I'm gonna walk to drop Sterling off at his doggy daycare, and then I'm gonna head to the gym. Oh my god, bitch, what the f is this store? It's currently 1 o'clock, but look at this store. Number one shopper, fidget toy. Hawaii and art. Bitch, I'm going in. Oh my god. I know I've said this before, but I have an obsession with little mini things. I want to buy this so bad for my inner child, but I have no use for it. But these are so cute. So I'm going to look at it and appreciate it. Because, oh my god, I'm obsessed. change I was supposed to go to the gym right but then I realized it's 1 30 and I need to head to the airport at about like 5 30 anyways so we only have four hours left and I can do so much in four hours so I'm gonna go get food go shopping go to Central Park at the four hours hopefully I have enough time so I was like why am I gonna go to the gym I can go to the gym back home but I did a whole outfit change this is from Shein this is Princess Polly this is Kim Shui I don't know Kim Shui I'm gonna search up Kim Shui I think and then these are leg warmers and then the Travis Scott but yeah that's the fit let's go get some bagels right now but i'm gonna try this bagel i came here the last time i was in new york but i didn't get like the sausage and egg i just got like a regular bagel with like everything like cream cheese and stuff also these new rings i literally got them at that one store that i stopped at they're like glass and handmade in italy these ones this one has like beads in it this one has like this blue liquid this one's not in italy this one was made here in the u.s this one has like white liquid this one has like glitter and then i got these two cute anyways let's try this oh nice this sh looks so good Filming reels and like videos at the same time is so difficult. It's so hard to focus, but like I want to do it for y'all. This is what it looks like. It looks really good. I love sausage and eggers from McDonald's. That's like honestly my favorite food. I know that this is not that, but sausage over bacon any day. All right, let's try it. It's really good, but like I feel like it needs... Oh, I didn't get it with cheese or anything. I probably should have asked for cheese. I thought it would have came with cheese. I'm just like imagining this with cheese and it'd be so good, but this still already is good. Like it tastes like fresh, I guess. Without the cheese, I would rate it like 7 out of 10, but I can see that with the cheese, this could be like a solid 9. The way the egg is cooked, there's like layers, and like everything tastes really fresh. I don't know, it's good though. I got myself a little orange juice. There's no straw. They want me to just suck it. That. You know what's so crazy? I know that you're probably not subscribed right now. Go check. Are you subscribed? No, because I know that 40% of you that watch my videos don't even subscribe. What are you doing? Subscribing is free. And if you subscribe from this video and comment down below, I will like your comment. Oh, you don't believe me? You think I'm lying? Go check the comments. Are all the comments liked? Yes, because I love my subscribers. So go subscribe if you want to. I'm not like trying to force you or anything, but like basically I'd appreciate it. Okay, bye. If I move here, I'd be playing basketball like every day. They have so many like nice outdoor courts in LA. Never. You would never find it. <laughs> But uh, I really want to move here because there's like such good nature here. I've seen how many basketball courts outside and I love playing basketball. So beautiful. Not gonna lie though. I'm really f***ing anxious right now for some reason. Like basically, I'm just gonna explain. I had a deadline to hand in this video, but my Wi-Fi, like my 3G was not working very well. So it wouldn't download, right? So I needed somebody else to do it. And I texted like six different people and no one f***ing responded. And I was like, what the f***? Like my siblings didn't even respond. And like my managers didn't respond. I was like, what the f***? And like I needed to get it in so I was really anxious doing that right and then finally someone said they could do it Which thank God like thank you for them But then like the five other people can like called me and texted me and they're like what do you need? And I'm like oh, I don't need your help anymore. Thank you. And they were like what was it? And I'm like, oh my god I don't know why that made me so anxious like having that many people like wait and then like respond I don't know why that made me so f 
anxious, but I'm anxious right now. Even though like nothing's actually wrong, a mother is just anxious. So I'm gonna try to f***ing breathe. Wow, this is beautiful out here. Look. More basketball courts? Like, are you f***ing kidding me? Oh my god, I'm actually nutting. Like, this is gorgeous. Bitch, I belong in New York. I feel like every bitch says that though, though. Now my tooth literally just coming off. I feel like every bitch that comes to New York is like, I belong in New York. So like, you know what, maybe I'll take that back. These pants are fire, but I would have to get them taken in on the waist. Spider tattoo, spiders. I love the details. Okay, now imagine I get these taken in. Like, do I get these or the rhinestones? I think I like the rhinestone spiders. Okay, now imagine this without like all the shirts underneath. Fire, I'm getting it. This shirt, it's like this like kind of leather material. Love it. This kind of reminds me of the sweater that I was wearing yesterday, but like in a different pattern, so I think I'm gonna get it. Okay, I'm like, I accidentally just like left these on just to like wear pants, but I kind of like the way they sit. So my belly button's like here. Like they're not gonna come down, like, and then a little bit of underwear showing. That's fire. Let's do it, style haul. Hi, today we have my. And how are you feeling today? I'm good, I'm just in New York looking for clothes to buy. <laughs> Yo, what the f was that store called? Potion. Potion in New York. That shit was fire. Like, actually. Oh my god, I like spent like an hour in there because like that store was so cool. Oh my god, I love that store. I'm definitely coming back the next time I'm here. But I have two more stores to check out and we gotta go home because my flight's at 8. It's currently like 4 40. Not a bodysuit, like something baggy at the top. You see? Can you see what I'm seeing? I don't know. I think that they're really cool, like the bottoms. They're like leggings, but elevated. Love. This top is so weird, but I kind of love it. I'm gonna add this to the maybe. and it's been waiting, but I gotta f***ing go to the airport because my flight is in two hours and JFK is an hour away and I haven't even got my luggage from my hotel yet. Am I gonna miss my flight? We'll see. Probably, but I believe in myself. Holy crap, I have so many new clothes. I 
could do a huge haul. Okay, basically, I'm almost at the airport now, but listen up. I'm arrived there at 7.30. My flight's at 8. They don't even allow you to check in 45 minutes, like, before. Like, it has to be 45 minutes or earlier, and I would get there 30 minutes before the flight leaves, so I wasn't making that no matter what. So I canceled flight, got my flight credit back, and then I just booked another flight for 9 o'clock. So I'm not wasting any money because I'm gonna get the flight credit back so I could use it. Yo, I have so many shopping bags. I need to do a haul. I'm so excited to do a haul. I've been on the go all day, and I can't believe I didn't even get done what I wanted to get done. So I think that means that I should go back to New York next week. I don't know what y'all are thinking, but I think I should. Yeah, I didn't even get to go to Central Park this whole time, and I said that I was gonna go every single day, but I didn't even make it there once because I was so busy doing other things. I don't know. Basically, what I'm saying is I think I should move to New York. I don't know about you, but like that's what I'm thinking. So I just think that it's like healthy for the both of us. You know what I mean? I don't know. Maybe like I'm on like some sort of high right now. Someone needs to stop me. But I'm also just excited to like sit my down in the airport and go home as well because like I literally organized my entire house before I left to New York so like I'm gonna come home and I got a new perfume today okay I'm gonna see you guys when I'm in the airport and like calm down because like right now I'm like flustered I gotta take like a thumbnail though before I head in the airport you know even though I don't have a ticket I literally am at the airport without a ticket right now like that's the funny thing whatever we're out here living life Oh, okay, time to fucking somehow figure out what to do with these bags. Like, do I put them in my suitcase? I don't know. I'm really on another level of I don't give a f Boom, and all of a sudden, we fucking got it. I did it. I never thought that I could level up in impulsivity, but it's the fact that I show up to the airport and I've done this twice now, and I just book a flight at the ticket counter. Like, Who'd have thought you could get more impulsive than me when I was 16? I literally just booked a flight. I came to the airport without a ticket. Period. People are probably like, that's such a waste of money that you booked so early. But I'm like, it's literally like the same price as if I would have booked far in advance. It's like 200 something dollars. And that's how much I paid for when I booked in advance. And I got my money back, so I'm gonna spend that on the flight that I'm gonna use to come here. So trust me, I'm not wasting any money, guys. I promise, I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Fashion. Uh -oh. I just realized I technically just saved money because this one's cheaper than the one that I booked and I'm getting that money back. So it's like a win-win situation in general. Period. Holy f When I tell you I'm stressed, I mean I'm stressed. Okay. Well, not anymore, but like I was 0.2 seconds ago. Hold on, I need to drink something. Well, also why I'm stressed is because like this is my second meal of the day and it's like 10 p.m. Oh my god, this is so good. I don't want to stop drinking yet. So, I had to change my flight, right? No big deal. I get there, change my flight, everything's going great. My bag is 60 pounds. Well, no, my bag is 54 pounds. He's like, just move four pounds over to your other bag, and then you won't have to pay the $150 overweight fee. And I'm like, perfect. Move the four pounds out, put it back to my bag, and then I put it on, and it's like 47 pounds. And then I'm like, oh my god, okay, so can I take some stuff out, put it back into the bag? And he's like, yeah, put it back into the bag, and all of a sudden it's 60 pounds. He's like, what did you put in there? I'm like, I put nothing in there. So I must have like weighed wrong the first time. So then I'm like, oh my god, he's like, you have to take stuff out. And I'm like, okay. So then I take more stuff out, and it's like, 51 pounds and I'm like fire but now I have two heavy ass bags backpack and then my dog and my carry-on and I'm like so I go to the security and she's like you're not allowed through you have too many bags but I'm like that guy said it was okay and she was like no so, I'm like, so then I go all the way back and keep in mind it's 8 15 my flight boards at 8 15 but it's 8 15 I go all the way back I'm like hi how much is it to check another bag she's like it's 45 dollars I'm like okay so I move all of my into my carry-on I check it but now I have this broken ass bag okay that I have to and trot around this airport and then my dog and then my backpack but it's okay so then it's my fault you know what i mean so i'm like it's okay so then i get to the security and i put all my on but people are like cutting in front of me but i have a lot of shit, right so people are cutting in front of me putting their shit in and i'm like dude like i'm like usually i'd be okay but it's like i have a dog like people are tripping over the leash and, shit, and i'm like bro just like can you like not try to like rush like come on now so people are tripping over the leash and, shit, and i'm like you could have just like waited for a second like i still have my shit, you know what i mean but people are like butting and putting their shit through before i even like put my shit on and i'm like Bro. So then half my shit is through and then half of it's still waiting because people butt through right and the lady goes everyone like move 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 to another one move to another one like grab yourself grab yourself and I'm like she's like if your stuff hasn't gone through yet move like go to another lane and I'm like my stuff like has gone through and she's like no one has it she's like grab your stuff and I was like yes it has like it's gone through like half it's gone through and she's like no it's not grab your shoes and I was like yes it has like half it's gone through she's like move grab your stuff and I'm like oh, God. so then I grab my two stacked bins and my shoes and my dog and all that I had to walk all the way back to the end of the line to go to another lane and I'm like oh my god and the, even the TSA dude like the other guy that checked my password was like did she send you all the way back and I was like yes because that's how f***ed up it was so then I f***ing get to the front I put my shit on or whatever and then I finally get through 
So yeah, I'm stressed out. Now it's 8.39, the boarding ends at 8.45. I'm walking to the mother gate. I'm hungry as I can't even pee yet. I get to the gate, thank God, the flight is delayed like 15 minutes. So I got some food and now I'm sitting here but my back hurts. You know, I'm grateful that I could get on another flight and that I'm going home tonight. But yeah, I was stressed out for a minute. So I just thought I'd tell you because not everything is always jelly beans and rainbows, okay? I just like, it seems like that when I travel, but not everything's always jelly beans and rainbows. So I was stressed for a minute. But like the whole time, I was like trying to tell myself, it's gonna be okay, you're gonna get through, you're gonna get through, it's gonna be okay, it's gonna, gonna be okay. Still stressed out though, because like being stressed is a valid feeling, but like I reminded myself that everything was gonna be okay. Anyways, I need to fucking eat and drink water. <laughs> It never tasted so good. Sorry, I gotta take my tooth off. This is just turkey and some bread. You know what? It's gonna be so good though. It's so dry, but I don't care if food is food. I will eat anything. I'm the bitch that will eat anything. It's just straight turkey. Listen. And I need to piss so bad. I'm not even going to the bathroom because I don't want to lug all the into the bathroom for me. I'm just gonna wait till I put my down on the plane and then go to the bathroom. 